Good morning internet, it is 10 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I'm just gonna put my sunglasses on because this sun is super bright here. Anyway, welcome to Santa Cruz in Bolivia. Uh, today I'm not uh, riding yet. Um, the shop selling hopefully the engine oil that I want or right, that I need is closed today. Uh, it will be open tomorrow, I hope. So today I'm just going to wander around Santa Cruz a little bit, or at least the market area. So the market area around here is that typical setup that every street kind of has their own speciality of stuff that they're selling. So I am now walking. Uh, I'm now walking around the area with the general convenience shops where they sell all sorts of things. But uh, it's going to get uh, more, uh, how do you say that, specialized. See on the other side here, there's the meat market. Which always uh, grosses me out a little bit, but okay. Check this out. It's a busy day at the market today. Look at all this meat. Oh, here's the chicken section. All the ladies, they have these uh, special uh, fly swaps. Keep off the flies, but I don't think it's really working. There are so many flies on this meat. Oh, look at that. Ah, come pollo. This part of the market is what I call the random streets, and they have all sorts of really random stuff like um, like chargers and phones. So this is the place of the market where you come when you lost your remote control of your television. <laughs> you can buy a new one here. See, and now this street is the place to go when you want to buy yourself a huge uh, music installation. Like this. <laughs> this entire street sells like these huge uh, music boxes. I don't even know what the word is in English. Music installation boxes things see another one and then of course we have the shoe market where every single store uh, sells shoes But by far my favorite part of the market is this area where after a day of shopping you can get your haircuts in literally every single shop. Barbershop, 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 barbershop. So I think this side is the men's and then on the other side is the ladies. See, just the... <laughs> street <laughs> our hairdressers and they all have like these numbers where you can pick the, the hairstyle that you want see so this is the ladies and then uh, I mean I don't really need a haircut but I would almost uh, take one just for fun look So then when your hair is all shiny and new, and this is the place to come to get your shoes, uh, how do you say that? Shoes done. I don't have uh, leather shoes, so for me it's not really working. But uh, this is the plaza to get your uh, shoes done. See, they all have like shoes. 
for uh, for the leather shoes. And then you can uh, have a snack to finish it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> naranja, lima, naranja, limonada, coke. ¿Cuánto vale? Dos bolianitos. Gracias. Gracias. Todo sube bien. Sí, ya ahorita. No, 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 So I'm now searching for a, a workshop, the place that they uh, pointed to me in the shop where I bought the oil. Well, I couldn't find it, so I'm now looking for another one. Let me see, I think there's something. Here there's a shop. I don't know if they also have a workshop or if it's only for sale. Let's check it out. Oh wow, they have, <laughs> they have Roy Enfield. Look at that. Wow, I did not see that coming. <laughs> That's so cool. Hola. Bien. Ah, that was so funny that they had the uh, Royal Enfields there. And uh, he said it's the only place here in Santa Cruz. He did have uh, loads of uh, brothers and sisters of uh, the note too, but they're all sold. So that's pretty cool. Didn't see that coming. But anyway, uh, they don't do uh, service. He did point me to another shop. But that is uh, probably going to be closed because it's now 12 o'clock and well, siesta and stuff. But anyway, I thought just check it out and I uh, know where it is. Ah yeah, it's here. Yeah. See you. Ciao. Okay, attempt number two to go to the shop. You know, after all these months in South America, I just keep on forgetting the whole siesta thing. <laughs> and uh, every time I make the same mistake that I'm somewhere around midday and then, oh yeah, of course, everything is closed. There we are. Hola. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Adiós. So, Dano is uh, also cleaned. They gave her a wash, which is lovely. And uh, oil change is done, oil filter changed. And then um, yeah, they also cleaned the air filter and uh, adjusted the chain a little bit. Some small things that uh, I uh, take care of myself normally, but uh, why not? She was there anyway, so uh, small service, all done, yes! Dano is all ready to go again, I'm happy. Took uh, the entire afternoon, I waited for like two and a half hours. But hey, it's all good. As long as Dano is being taken care of properly, I am content. Now I just have to um, make my way through this traffic 
This is why I don't like cities. People often say, oh, you didn't show anything of this city or that city, but <laughs> I just really dislike riding in traffic and sucking up the fumes of buses and cars and yeah it's uh, I way prefer to ride in the countryside in nature and well to be honest I don't think there's any motorcyclist who really enjoys riding traffic like this I can <laughs> hardly imagine anyway Gracias. Ciao. Okay. Thank you. All the best. And I am leaving Santa Cruz. I am excited. I'm really looking forward to a day of riding. I guess I always have that, especially after the no just had a service. Then and she's all clean. <laughs> then I'm always like, oh yes, yes. Let's go. So the thing is, I can't really show you where I'm going because I don't really know. Well, I don't know where I'm going to end up tonight. I have a plan, but I don't know if this plan will work. Because it's very hard to get uh, information about these type of things around here. But anyway, I'll tell you my plan. So the plan is to ride to a small town called Puerto Villarul and then take a boat to Trinidad, which is kind of in the north of Bolivia and this is an area where, where not many people go or it's not like on the so is that for motorcycles and I, I don't know if this lane is for motorcycles or not I think not I don't know <laughs> anyway so my plan was to to visit an area of Bolivia which is not very common and there's two ways to reach Trinidad and that is by road or by boat and I thought you know what how cool would it be if I can catch a riverboat to Trinidad. So there's this town which has a port and supposedly there are boats uh, that go to Trinidad. But there is not really a schedule and it's not really like a ferry service either. So I have absolutely no idea if I can catch a boat there. But I guess we'll just find out. Um, so to that place from where the boats maybe leave uh, that's 275 kilometers and well if i cannot catch a boat there then i will continue to cochabamba but maybe not today because it's another i think 275 or so so that might be too much for one day but we'll see anyway tonight wherever i end up i will show you on the map where i am and about the plan and everything I don't forget. I'm about 40 kilometers out of uh, Santa Cruz now. It's uh, very flat here, very green, two lane highway. It's amazing. There's another toll uh, over here, but as always, uh, I don't have to pay toll in Bolivia on a motorcycle, only cars. It took me a while to gather the courage to just pass a toll booth like this. <laughs> Every time I was thinking, yeah, but what if I have to pay for this one? But uh, now I'm convinced that motorcycles don't have to pay. Oh, plenty of motorcycles. <laughs> Most people seem to ride like these uh, small Hondas. These are all motor taxis. taxis <laughs> riding on top of the tank
arrived in Puerto Villarul. This is kind of a, a dead end, or well, kind of, it is. The road uh, ends in this town. And then you only have the river to continue. This is the port. center oh, let's ask here all right so I just spoke with uh, the people here this is uh, an actual official tourist uh, center or something and I spoke with them but uh, gracias. Um, but they told me no there are no more boats that go uh, since they made a new road to Trinidad all the cargo transport goes by a road and not by a river anymore uh, so it's a bit of a shame. Uh, he did say I could rent a private boat, but that he said that will be 15,000 Bolivianos, which is, I don't know, some ridiculous amount. <laughs> ridiculous. Um, so yeah, that's not not going to happen. I was already I was already kind of thinking this could happen. That's why I have my plan B: go to Cochabamba. Um, now I have to think if I go to Cochabamba still today or not. Um, it is now around one o'clock, so I thought at least I uh, have a lunch here. And I think I'll just continue then. Uh, it's gonna be quite a long day, kilometer-wise, because I think Cochabamba is another at least 200 kilometers from here. Uh, so that will be a big day, but uh, um, yeah. I think I feel I can ride a bit more uh, and get there. So uh, yeah, it's a shame. I thought it would be really cool to spend a couple of days uh, on the river and see how that is. But um, yeah, unfortunately the boats don't go anymore. I just ordered some lunch. Uh, I think I'm getting chicharron, which is a type of fish. It's so all fish here, obviously with the river close by and a lot of fishermen. Oh, he also said I could try to find a fisher boat, but they don't go all the way to Trinidad. They stop somewhere in the middle um, at a point where there's a lot of fish, obviously. Uh, so there's no, not much point in doing that either. So that means that I'm just going to eat a fish here um, and then continue to Cochabamba. I just checked and to Cochabamba it's another 250 kilometers. So that's, uh, that's quite a lot. Um, that's a lot of food. Look, got some uh, platano, and then this is a fish. This is all fish, and then this is yuca, that uh, type of potato, and then some rice. Adios. Ciao. Okay, okay. That was fantastic food. It is now uh, 1.30 and 250 kilometers to Cochabamba. Well, I finally descended from that cloud. <laughs> that was uh, pretty bad. A lot of these trucks, they ride just without any lights on. It is crazy. But I came down, although I'm still above uh, 3000 meters here, but at least uh, 
I can see something. Welcome to Cochabamba! Beautiful setting, look at those green hills. Hotel! Okay, so as promised, uh, what did we do today? So I left this morning from Santa Cruz, then I went up here to Montero, then I took this road, uh, and then a small road here to Puerto Villarro, which is somewhere here where I was hoping to take the riverboat here to Trinidad, which failed. So I had to drive back, that was 25 kilometers back to the main road. And then I went here to Cochabamba. I did 525 kilometers. It really is a long time since I uh, done uh, such a distance. And uh, yeah, I spent nine hours riding. So it was a full, full day. But I don't know, I was just super ready for it. I was like, yeah, I love today. I'm absolutely knackered now, but um, yeah, I just really felt like a full day of riding. So for me, uh, for me, it was all good. I really, really enjoyed the ride. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.